At this time, you have a unique opportunity to come into the program with some strong guaranteed issue amounts for both yourself, your spouse, and your children. As an employee, if you take advantage of this program right now, you can sign up for one time your salary, one and a half, two, all the way up to three times your annual base pay up to $500,000. Your spouse, as long as the spouse is under the age of 65, can come on guaranteed issue for $20,000 in coverage. Children during this time period are guaranteed issue for $10,000 of coverage as a rider to either the spouse or the employee's policy. There is a simplified issue classification that requires satisfactory answers to health questions on the enrollment form. As an employee, this is not applicable to you. If you have a spouse who is under the age of 65 who would like to sign up for additional amounts of coverage ranging from $21,000 to $50,000, as long as they're not exceeding two times you, the employee's annual base pay, they can do so, but they will be required to answer satisfactorily some health questions on the enrollment form. Full medical underwriting will only be required from you as an employee if you elect coverage amounts in excess of a half a million dollars up to 1.5 million, or look at it as 3.5 up to six times you as the employee's annual base pay. Full medical underwriting will also be required from your spouse if your spouse's coverage amounts fall between $51,000 to $100,000 as long as they do not exceed two times you, the employee's annual base pay. Any coverage amount, if your spouse is age 65 and over, will have to go through full medical underwriting. If you wait and don't sign up for the program during this special time and you come in later, you would be called a late entrant. And anyone coming in as a late entrant for any amount of coverage no matter how small, must go through the full medical underwriting process. That process requires satisfactory answers to health questions on the enrollment form, plus you have to complete a declaration of insurability form. A paramedical exam that includes blood testing would also be required, but would not be a charge to you.